My name is Richard Vass from the Moorings Yacht Brokerage, right here in the British Virgin Islands in the Moorings and Sunsail Base. We're about to take a walk down to Tortola Yacht Services. This is a boatyard that the Moorings and Sunsail actually owns. What this means to us is it helps us maintain an incredibly high standard of maintenance on our yachts. At any time, the boatyard is always packed, whether that's with charter yachts undergoing routine maintenance, with things such as rudder bearings being fitted, getting bottom jobs done, or these are boats undergoing the phase-out process, which is the maintenance that we do to the yachts after they've been on charter for four or five years. Or what we're about to see in a moment are some yachts which have got some a bit more extreme refits going on. We recently suffered a pretty catastrophic hurricane here, Hurricane Irma. We were very fortunate to be able to put together a team of 80 highly skilled workers who came from all corners of the world who brought with them their expertise and knowledge to enable us to repair these boats to a world-class standard. These are people who have a ton of experience, mainly having worked in mega yacht yards around the world, whether that's in Germany, the UK, or in Poland. When we combine these guys with the talented staff that we already have here at the Moorings and Sunsell, who have fantastic knowledge of the Robertson and Kane catamarans, the Beneteau monohulls, the Jano monohulls, they were able to work together cohesively as a team and produce some absolutely world-class results. I've been living here for 20 years. I've never seen quality like this, especially on the fiberglass side. In a moment, we're gonna be talking to Merrick Fisher. He's gonna be talking us through the technicalities and the repair processes of the boats in the boatyard and explaining to us in detail how he's able to achieve the results that he does. This is an example of some of the repairs that we found here at the moorings in Tortola. You can see crushing damage from a mast that probably came down and went through the cabin. There's underwater damages on this vessel where the rudder has been pushed up through the rudder housings. There's also keel damage on this vessel. Uh, with the vessel behind us, this was compression damage where the vessels were basically hitting each other and they were tied up during the storm. We get survey on these areas uh, by the local surveyors, mark them out, and then we start the cutting procedure to investigate the repairs. Behind me, you can see the repair sheds that we're using. We have the possibility of getting up to a 58 uh, foot vessel inside. We can close the front and the back. We're gonna have air handling units and lighting inside. There's a new compressor system that's being put into pipe air all the way around the yard and there will be further development within infrastructure in the, the near future to assist with the repairs. Here's a, an example of a typical repair that we'll find. So we've had the vessel surveyed, it's been checked with a moisture meter. Um, it's rung high on the moisture meter, so it tells us that the core material, the balsa, is holding moisture. We'll now we cut the outer skin, we'll peel away the outer skin to expose the balsa, check the balsa is actually physically wet. If that's the case, we'll strip out the balsa and remove that before starting the fiberglass repair. And we're moving on to the next stage of the repair. The guys are just ready to insert the balsa here. So this area has already had five covering mats on the inner skin. We're now gonna get ready to vacuum bag the balsa into position. Um, so we'll hand over to the guys where they're gonna mix the resin and set the bag. This is one of the more complex repairs that we're carrying out. She suffered damage to the underwater area, to the transom, to the rear steps, uh, and to the outer hull. So in this particular area, we need to first keep the alignment. So we've repaired the underwater area and the outer hull to keep the alignment of the vessel. For the deck section, we're lucky enough to have donor vessels that we can actually make temporary modes. 
Uh, we call those splashes. We copy a good vessel and then we reproduce the part to be scarfed in to finalise the, uh, the repair to this vessel. We've got a uh, fibreglass repair that's been completed. Um, it's been inspected and passed, so now it's ready for the next stage, which is the filler application. The guys are just mixing up the epoxy fairing compounds and they're gonna trail the filler up and then pull it with a long bar to get the vessel alignment correct. Here we've got one of the vessels that are nearing completion. We're in the final polishing stage. Uh, you can see the guys are just coming through now final liquor polish and then we'll clean her down and she's ready to go. Here at the Moorings Yacht Brokerage we encourage every buyer to become involved in the process by providing the survey. However, we do have some existing surveys on yachts that have been or are currently going through repairs which are available to be passed on to clients. Our experienced and professional brokers are on site and will provide progress updates with photos so buyers don't necessarily need to stay in BVI throughout the process. Once the boatyard work is completed, the yachts will get launched and our team will get started on the in-water refit which covers interior work, mass stepping, deck work, and we utilize the same highly skilled workforce. When the work is nearing completion, there is a survey and sea trial done to find any outstanding items that remain. Once the surveyor and buyer are satisfied that the conditions have been addressed properly with the newly finished yacht, the acceptance of vessel will be signed. The end result is a yacht that looks better than any chartered yacht out there, often with new rig, electronics, and gleaming gel coat. The combination of the huge team, our own boatyard, a massive parts department, and on-site brokerage team is unrivaled at any other charter locations worldwide. The Moorings Yacht Brokerage is a full disclosure brokerage, so if you have any questions or concerns, it's best to come to the source to ask.